I don't know about you, but so far I haven't found a golden spray primer that satisfies me. Retributor Armor Spray from Games Workshop is extremely expensive and the gold hue doesn't really match Retributor Armor base paint. I found this comparison picture on Reddit and as you can see, the spray paint on the right is very different from the base paint. Gauntlet Gold from Colorforge is much cheaper and has 100 milliliter more paint, but also the gold tone is supposed to match Retributor Armor as well, it's more similar to the more yellowish spray paint version and therefore not as rich as Retributor Armor base paint. Enter the Army Painter, which have been updating their color primer range. A spray can version of their Greedy Gold War Paint as well as Oak Brown, Bray Matter Beige and Ash Grey are permanent new additions to the range. Pixie Pink, Hydra Turquoise and Deep Blue are splash releases available while stocks last. To make space for all the new colors, Crystal Blue, Goblin Green and Chaotic Red color primers are no longer produced and only available until stock has run out. The changes to the color primer range only affect the color selection, the formula has remained pretty much the same. Except for the new Greedy Gold. This spray paint has an optimized formula for the gold pigments. The can and nozzle are slightly different from other color primers and the difference is also in the price with an RRP of 16 euro 99, greedy gold costs 4 euro more than the other color primers. Question is, is it worth it? Can the army painter succeed but Games Workshop and Color Forge have failed? I'm Starly from Tale of Painters and I'll find out in this review. But first, I have to be honest and admit that I have my issues with the Army Painter's color primers. Some colors work really well, like Uniform Grey, Angel Green and Leather Brown, which I use regularly. And the color match with the Army Painter's acrylic war paints is generally pretty accurate. But it's also true that color primers are fickle to use. You have to shake the cans for a long time and follow the instructions carefully, which means getting close to the miniatures and work in long sweeps rather than short bursts. Otherwise, the result can quickly become rough and grainy. In addition, color primers are the only miniature spray paints I've worked with that regularly clog their nozzles. And it has happened to me not once, but several times that half full cans died on me as they lost all their pressure. Fortunately, I did not have any of these problems with Greedy Gold. Notice that I tried the final prototype, but I was assured it is the real deal. Should I notice a difference to the retail version, I will add my thoughts below in the comment section, so make sure to give it a look. The paint applies beautifully. No special treatment needed, just apply short bursts from a distance of about 20 cm, like with any other miniature spray paint you're familiar with. The coverage is great and two thin coats are enough to cover over bare plastic. Durability is also good, as this scratch test shows. The gold hue is beautifully rich in orange. The metallic flakes are relatively small and slightly finer than for example Colorforge's gauntlet gold. Coarse metallic particles are often a problem of metallic spray paints. As is a glossy finish that makes paint and especially washes adhere less well. Greedy gold is no different, so my tip is to apply a thin layer of matte or satin varnish by spray can or airbrush before you start painting. The color match to greedy gold war paint is excellent, a difference hardly distinguishable. Greedy Gold War Paint is a solid gold acrylic paint. It's a pretty close match to Gehenna Gold Layer Paint, but with slightly better opacity. The metallic flakes aren't as fine as Retributor Armor Base Paint, nor is the coverage as good, but in fact, Greedy Gold Color Primer is a closer match to Retributor Armor Base Paint than Retributor Armor Spray Paint and Gauntlet Gold, as you can see here. Before I pass my final judgment, why don't you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so I can make more reviews like this. You can also support me on Patreon for exclusive tutorials and resources. Thanks a lot and back to the review. As already mentioned, Greedy Gold Color Primer with its RRP of 16 euro 99 for 400 milliliter of paint is not only 4 euro more expensive than the Army Painter's other color primers, but also more expensive than any other miniature spray primer, except for Citadel spray paints. The Army Painter justifies this with higher production costs, 
but I suspect that they want to capitalize on the higher price of Retributor Armor Spray. After all, Colorforge's Gold Spray Primer has the same price as their other paints. The more premium design in black also fits in with this in order to position Greedy Gold as a premium product. Nevertheless, it is still cheaper than Retributor Armor Spray and the result speaks for itself. If you are currently looking for a spray paint with a rich and vibrant gold tone, there's no way around the Army Painter's Greedy Gold Spray. It's easy to apply and doesn't clog and it matches its war paint version perfectly and is also very close to Retributor Armor Base Paint, closer than Games Workshop spray paint version in fact. For me, it's the best gold spray paint currently on the market, so I give it a 9 out of 10. Please check out more of my paint reviews, for example my thoughts on the Army Painter Speed Paints here on the right. Thanks a lot and happy hobbying!